Alright guys, what's up? Fundoris here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why this specific Pokemon Coliseum variant is so rare. I mean, at first glance, you're not really going to notice anything. It just kind of looks like a regular Pokemon Coliseum, which is what I thought. I picked this game up at a garage sale in the beginning of the year for $5, and I thought it was just a regular Pokemon Coliseum until I noticed in the very top right corner right there, bonus disc with Jirachi. So when I first saw that, I knew that there was a pre-order disc for this game that usually comes in a separate case. But with this variant of Pokemon Coliseum, it actually comes in the case. The regular game is on the bottom and the pre-order disc is on top. And so basically what this does, I mean, it's the same thing as the other pre-order bonus. Just this variant is extremely rare compared to the regular pre-order bonus for this game, which makes the value of this game kind of insane. Loose, it's $441 complete, which this one is complete in box, $629 and new, which is, you know, if it was sealed with the wrapping around it, it would be $1,800. So almost $2,000 if this was a brand new sealed game. But crazy that this is worth around $600. I literally got it for $5 and definitely keeping it in the collection because of how cool it is and how unique it is. It really wasn't easy to find stuff about this online. I've been searching for a while. I mean, not like days, probably like 25 minutes, but still that, that's more time than it should take. And so what I kind of gathered from this specific variant is that it was a pre-order bonus that was only available for like Kmart and Target stores, which... I've heard other people say it was also just like Walmart and other other stores like that too, but back in 2004 is when you could pre-order this game, which is kind of crazy. That's like almost 20 years ago. And But basically with the bonus disc, you can transfer Jirachi over to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire on the Game Boy Advance, and uh, which is pretty cool. Like you can get a legit Jirachi on the Game Boy Advance games. Uh, and you can also shiny hunt the Jirachi, which is kind of cool which I haven't done. I actually haven't played the game yet because my GameCube controller doesn't work anymore, which is fine, you know, I'll play it eventually, but... So there's a limit of one Jirachi per save, but, you know, it's a disc, so if you just bring it on a different console, you know, you can get another Jirachi, but only one Jirachi per console, I guess I should say. Uh, so pretty, pretty cool, pretty good. And apparently it's the only way to actually get Jirachi in the Game Boy Advance games, which is really neat, which kind of gives us a huge bonus. And uh, also, it says not for resale on the bottom. I actually didn't notice that before, so wonder why it says that. Maybe just because it's like the pre-order bonus? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice game. The disc, I mean, the case is in really good shape for where I got it from at a garage sale. Um, pretty awesome, though. So here's the manual right here. Just, you know, the regular manual. Really cool. It sucks that games don't come with the manual anymore. I, I enjoy having that. I'm pretty sure this variant specifically also comes with, like, a sneak peek pamphlet flyer type of thing for the Jirachi Pokemon movie that was out whenever this came came out like 2005 or so so that's pretty neat finding this variant on eBay is pretty tough when I first got the game I could only find two listings for it now I think there's a few more I think there's like four listings for this specific Jirachi uh, in one case bonus so it's pretty cool definitely the rarest game that I have in my collection Hopefully over time it just goes up in value. I definitely think this is something that will go up in value just because of how rare and how many people don't really know about it and how kind of obscure it is. So hopefully it keeps going up in value. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys know any more information about this pre-order bonus that I missed or didn't know, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to know. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. i